Shit is full, babe. Oh, okay. of a different intro wasn't it it's kind of like what i wake up most mornings thinking about we'll get out there soon anyway i'd just like to say thank you very much for watching all our videos and thank you for everyone who shares our videos and thanks to all our members as well just because sometimes we don't get to say that anyway let's go see what mandy's up to it's the day we dread this day isn't it what, what this packing up yeah Every we've been time. here for ooh, maybe two weeks now yeah, Since maybe, we did the MOT. Yeah, maybe two weeks and two weeks and a day or something. Yeah. Yeah. And and we've obviously Mandy's got a coffee machine out. I seem to have accumulated all sorts of bits down there as well, which I need to fit to the van or organise better in the van. We've got things that are on the chair there. Obviously we've got some toys Sorry. on the dash. Just missed me putting all the it was like a Chinese laundry a minute ago, just been putting all the uh, yeah. the whirly gig with the undies on and stuff like that away. So, but yeah, we've got to get some LPG. Yep, LPG. Bit of shopping. But I like this bit though because we really get too comfortable. We get so comfy oh. when we're not moving anywhere. It's everything, everywhere, and nothing gets put away. And oh, I'm going to have to show them the boot now, aren't I? <laughs> well, that's how come That's a big job for you before um, before we can go anywhere. Yeah, let's go show them the boot. Yeah. <laughs> but we've been doing lots of things to the van. And every time we've done something to the van, I've had to get something out, so I pretty much had everything out. So the chairs out, obviously we had the fire down here the other day and I cooked. So we've had the chairs out for that, I had the wood out for that. We've obviously been um, getting at our stash of beers and coke and everything, we've had the tools out. This bag's got all my solo stove in it. <sighs> but yeah, I do need to tidy that up before we uh, move around. Yeah, no condensation or anything like that anymore. So it's all nice and dry everywhere now. Dry down there and everything. Oops, just squeeze. Oh, I can't see it. But yeah, it is dry down there, dry down the doors and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if a lot of people understood that last time, but I was just showing you the issues that you get in a van when it's like minus eight and stuff outside. I wasn't saying that we had damp or condensation permanently in the van. So um, hopefully that makes a bit more sense but it's normal to get condensation if it's freezing outside and obviously you're warm inside. Oh, oh, 
Off we go. <laughs> so excited we're vlogging each other. Hey. <gasps> so, you know we like the um, the farm Terminator breakfast and everything. Yeah, Shepherd's Place Farm. Shepherd's Place Farm, that's the one. Well, they're still doing takeaway. So we thought we'd take it away from, well, from there to here. Yep, all that way over there. And it is... Just, just to confirm, look, it's the it's the very last day in February, <laughs> so I'm allowed to have some meat. Hey, we're. Hey, we're, <laughs> hey. Right, can oh. we show up and eat up now? Yeah. Look right. at that. Nom, nom. Mm. So, what is our uh, first meat-free haul from the shops? First meat-free haul. Oops, smoky bits. Okay. Bold oomph, which is bold pork. Okay, dokie. Quarter pounders. Yep. Tiki tender strips. Remember we've had the beef ones before. Oh yeah. So they got the tikka ones. I wanted the beef, but they didn't have them in. Okay. Vegetarian meatballs from Mrs. Linda McCarthy. Oh. And um, pulled chicken. So I thought we could have that in fajitas. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. And then no chicken, garlic and herb kiev. Cool. Alright. It's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. And all the other ideas I've got for making things from scratch, of course. I'd like to just show you the favourite things that I think <laughs> for my meat free. <laughs> Yeah, they are, um, yeah, they're looking lush. I bought you a present. Oh, I forgot me. Ooh, mini just, eggs. Just one. Just one, though, that's all right. <laughs> we only well, picked one in the fridge. We have supposed to be on a budget. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it was on special, so. Okay. Morning. <laughs> Morning. You all right? I am, I'm good, Ta. It's a very special Monday today. Oh, it's super excited. No, not only do we get to start our meat-free march. Yeah, that was super exciting. That, yeah. <laughs> Well, Actually, you don't know I'm what you're going to eat. To it anyway. So you don't know what you're going to eat yeah. today, do you? But yeah. But we've had a special guest for the last ten days that we've not been able to uh, have any contact with. No, it's just so. shouting. Yeah. So let's see if he's all right. So for ten days now, he's been shielding. Hello. It's been isolating. Yeah. So this is our I isolation. Can you yeah. can come out and play. <laughs> I've been locked in here for ten days just to be safe and secure. So I didn't, because I've arrived and just, you know, not, didn't want to give these anything. Not that I've Spread got anything. Spread the lurgy. Yeah, yep. but now it's Freedom Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you here joining us for Meet Free March then? Going back in, going back in, <laughs> going back in. Um, sorry to bring the tone of the video down a little bit, but I want to get a bit serious now. Um, I'm going to call it Diesel Pump Gate. As you can see right there, there's a pump. See anything interesting on there? Because I did. It says it's a 12 volt pump. So as you know, I ordered this from Plain Art International a few weeks ago. And last week I showed and what a disaster it was fitting it to my diesel heater, my 12 volt diesel heater. Uh, yes, my heater wasn't a plain air international, but diesel heater parts are interchangeable. And to verify that, Daz got a diesel heater the other week that wasn't the same make as mine, and we swapped the pumps across, they're fine. No problems whatsoever. Both of them, by the way. When we swapped them back again, no problems, they just carry on running. So. They said that one as well. They said 12 volt on them as well. 12 volt. Now, this is my beef. As you know, I said that that company was very rude on email. Um, it escalated. And over the last 48 hours, um, one of the company employees at Plain Air International decided to go on one of their user groups this guy obviously doesn't watch the channel and a lot of the people who commented probably don't watch the channel either and they wouldn't have known therefore that as you guys know that Mandy handles all the comments on YouTube and I handle all the comments on Instagram so my wife had 280 ish abusive messages yesterday and the day before to deal with on YouTube half of which were from the employee at Plain Air International. I was going to be quite nice and I was going to say, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Send me one of your quiet heaters and I'll do the same test on it to see if your 12 volt pump that you claim is actually an eight volt pump, even though it says 12 volt on it, but you claim it's now eight volt, 
but I'm afraid you've taken it a step too far now. Um, so right away, before anything goes further, you know who you are. I expect an email back from you uh, with a full and sincere apology because I'm pretty sure your company doesn't want to be known as the company who organized a hate campaign um, against a YouTuber who just bought one of your pumps because it said 12 volts on it and it didn't work. Yeah, you know who I am, you know where I am, you uh, sent me a parcel. So um, you know my email address as well. So yeah, uh, I'm expecting an email from you. You don't expect this kind of treatment from companies <laughs> big UK companies that you and I both buy products from because in our community we install and use diesel heaters yeah I think that's all I'm going to say about that right now that's another little van upgrade that is basically a 150 watt panel there's another one coming and I'm going to put them at the back of the van so we've got um, a skylight in there you can probably see so one panel is going to go this side of the skylight and the other one's going to go the other side there's already 110 watt on the other side, so I'm going to have to remove that first. So as you can see, these are apparently acceptable, all these marks. Um, but it doesn't perform anywhere near like a 110 watt panel. What I've done recently, I've been messing around. Um, and on a sunny day, I've been trying just my big panel or the little panel and seeing how much power I get out of both. And I can tell you that it's not really what you would expect on this panel. So uh, yeah, we're not going to keep that one up, we're going to replace it. There we go. One panel removed. Talk about a takeaway. <laughs> Delivery, isn't it? This. Hello. Just eat. Hello, it's okay. Do you think it's teasing because it's meat free March? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat me. You can't eat me. <laughs> See ya. Bye, chicken. What lovely meat free delights do we expect today? Today we've got a new one because obviously we've already tried what the meal we had yesterday before. So we yeah. thought we'd start off well, on an old favourite. Explain what we had yesterday. We had fake away um, McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffins made with Richmond meat free sausages. And if you want to keep up with us, um, and we're going to put every day or every other day a uh, meat free meal that we're having on our Instagram page. Yep, and I'll so. put it on mine as well. So it's on, on, on both. We'll spam everywhere. It's fine. Well, yeah, so today we're trying a new one. Mm. We are trying Linda McCartney's balls. My sister works at the uh, Kerry Foods factory, which make Richmond meat free and the Naked Glory stuff. So mm. she gave us some samples and we'd go to the factory shop and get some things. And when trying things, she'd be like, oh, try this burger. And I'm like, I want to try the burger as a burger. Yeah, like I want to try it as I would normally it eat it. Yeah. And not just as like a little bit of the burger, because sometimes I think, that would put you off eating yeah. it on its own but eating it as a meal yeah with everything that you normally get a totally yeah. different thing altogether so mm -hmm. we're doing that so we're, but we've also got those um oomph is it oomph? oh yeah uh smoky bits which look like they're going to be little bits of bacon so we're going to pan fry some of them off with the meatballs as well to make like a bacony sauce mm. and i made my own chorizo crumbles using tofu the other day so I'm going to put some of them in as well. So it's going to be like a nice smoky, <laughs> meatball-y, nucky meal. Oh, it's, it's like getting excited about food all over again. And I'm getting excited today because I'm fitting the new solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that's one panel done as far as fitting it to the roof. So these are the hinges that I bought. They're industrial ball bearing hinges, totally sealed, uh, meant for outdoor and they carry a weight limit of 55 kilos. These are the brackets that the solar panel sits on. The frame of the solar panel normally sits in the bracket there. And what I'm gonna do is use one of these to mount the hinge. But as you can see when doing that, these back tails there get in the way. So there's the bracket cut down, which means that the hinge can now sit 
nice and neatly over the top like that. Uh, drill three holes and use some nice big rivets to go in there. And it uh, looks like I've got a visitor. Hi visitor, you're going to help me fit a solar panel? Oh, don't go to Dazzy's van. No, Daz will make uh, nuggets out of you and chicken wings. That's both panels all installed now. I've wired them in parallel and this bit I'm going to wire in series to that one. So essentially it's like wiring a 360 watt panel and a 300 watt panel in series. I've got a lovely new meal to cook today on um, day two of meat free March. So we've, um, when I hit up the supermarket we've got things that we always uh, chose to take a look at before because Jem recommended some things to us, burgers and mints and all that kind of thing. But today we're trying Linda McCartney's vegetarian meatballs for the first time. And as you know, we like bacon bits if we're cooking with anything like that. So we're trying oomph smoky bits and we'll see how, they, how those go on. So this is today's meal. You probably have seen something like it before. Meatballs and gnocchi in a tomato sauce with some veggies thrown in. Need bigger plates? No, there's got to be some sort of way to control portion rather than just mounding it over. <laughs> well, like feed us less. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and see what these taste like. Tastes like well, the texture is more like meatballs. And good, it tastes good. Like meatballs as well, so always a bonus. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's get cracking. We're off to shops. Off to shops. <laughs> and I figured that it's difficult to do like a, a meat free because we only eat one big meal a day. So I'm getting something else that's, I mean, not that we actually eat meat in the evening either, did we? But not really, no. We're going to get some bread because toast is life. Yes. It is, isn't it? Cheese toasty with like HP sauce or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, daddy's sauce, whatever. Daddy's. I can't say that without being a bit childish. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah. But yeah, got our little jobs done for the day, and it's weird lately because I've been doing things, you've been doing things, but I've been doing it together. Yeah. So we thought we'd come on a little walk. We brought Mr. Nobertson. Mr. Nobertson is who's just decided just to run being a knob. head on at a chicken, <laughs> and then <laughs> the thought, chicken had to jump over Cooper's head. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. Oh dear. He's definitely a happy bunny now that it's a bit drier. On, and he can uh, run on the fields and everything like that. Oh yeah, definitely. He loves that field. He's loved that field from like the first day. I think yeah. it was probably about six weeks without him being on his lead, wasn't it? He yeah, was just last May till probably around about my birthday. So it was probably like most of all of June and most of May or something. Yeah, like. yeah. So uh, he did enjoy that, and he's back there again enjoying it. Bless him. Yeah. Oh, he's so obedient. He's so <laughs> obedient, this dog. <laughs> Honestly, this is how you can tell he's not running his lead for a while. It's like yeah. when we do go out places, he's like, well, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, it's just ready to See what I like. Cooper, here. Here. Come on. That's, that might be because he, he's, he's hearing he's going a little bit, isn't it? So maybe that's here. level. Come here, bud. Come on. Don't go through the puddle. Good, Good boy. boy. Yeah, we kind of think that his hearing's going a bit and his sight's going a bit as well, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hiya. I'm just telling somebody on Instagram that you've agreed to try cauliflower cheese, but just a small portion and yeah. not a big one. The uh, veggie, not ve yeah, I suppose it is veggie, meatless march is going pretty well so far. I think so. Yeah, obviously um going to be trying out more different things. We're not just going to stick to somebody's version of what a burger is or somebody's version of what a uh, sausage is 
or meatball is. Yeah, I'm, or I'm going to be actually food bowl. cooking things, aren't I, from scratch and yeah. stuff. Food balls. I love everybody's like, what's that? It's food, food ball. It's food and it's not meat, so it's food. <laughs> so, yeah, but for now, how's your coffee? My coffee's brilliant, thank you very much. Yeah, because today we're going to add more of that coffee power. Coffee power! So we've got another Polynovel uh, 100 amp hour, it's actually 108 amp hour lithium battery. So thank you very much Quality Source for getting that shipped over and everything. Uh, links down below if you want to get one yourself. Um, but for now what we need to do is get it in there. And I'm going to use my uh, Blue Yeti AC200 as the hookup power source. Because obviously we are off grid where we are now. And um, yeah there's no solar today. None at all. Uh, so I will start the engine as well, but I thought I'd also show you a new little addition. Oh, Coop's, Coop's yeah, Coop cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's in there, Coopy? What's it? Is it? Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Well done. Good boy. Uh, which is the new uh, mains hookup charger. Oh, Cooper's having a look. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 30 amp Victron mains hookup charger. So that's currently connected in to the uh, positive and negative bus bars. But what I'll obviously do is I'll disconnect it from there and I'm going to connect it straight onto this battery. This is now going to be powered on through there through the main socket and the output of that is going straight into the battery. So if we go on here and do AC on, AC output on, light comes on. Hopefully in a couple of seconds that'll switch it on. There you go. That now says charging. And if we go to there, we can see it's getting 30 amps charge. Yeah, I got your bar. Yeah. We got your bar. You have to let me have it. Have it. <laughs> You're a bugger. Get it? Yeah. Good job he's not like a professional sniffer dog or anything, don't you think? It's over there, buddy. You see it? <laughs> oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, he just ran right over it. This is literally what I spend my do day doing, seeing how long it's going to take him to find a ball or a frisbee or whatever, but happy puppy. I don't mind. Look at that. <laughs> Little tail doesn't stop. Gonna find it. Oh, you just went right near it, bud. And normally he gets there just before I do. But not this time. Dupes, sis. There we go. Good boy. I feel a bit bad now because I think they might think I'm feeding them. Hello ladies, hello ladies, how we doing, how we doing, oh hi, but is it Coopy, it'd be nice to birdies, aww, well, that's a noisy turkey, at least I know where that noise is coming from now. One is a stuffed mushroom with garlic. That is um, a Kiev with what's in it? Garlic. Garlic, okay. And then some Dauphinois potatoes with what looks like Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. Parmesan. And I think they're the plant kitchen ones, aren't they? From um, the Aldi? Yeah. Clean plates. <clears throat> Though I would add the mushrooms, great. Dauphinois potatoes made the meal. The Kievs, nah, not again. No. It, didn't, it tasted like garlic something. Mm. Um, wasn't too keen on the texture. It was kind of brown inside rather than white. Yeah, it wasn't nice. So, yeah, and it was a funny aftertaste. Every mouthful you had Kiev in it. Mm. That, that's something funny going on, yeah. So, glad we tried them. Won't be getting them again, though. No. Eee, bye, gone busy week. Um, I didn't include a lot of the stuff we were talking about with solar and the batteries. I just kind of like brushed by them. Um, I'll put them in a separate video next week or the week after when I've got it all done and tested. 
Um, as for next week, yeah, we're gonna do <gasps> Cheese Night Live with, with special, special guest, special guest Baz, cause he can, cause <laughs> we is bubbling now. It's bubbling now. We've all been uh, doing our little separation for ten days and everything. Yep. So, so now we're all all right. We've got our little bubble. Brilliant. So yeah. yes, we're gonna have a Cheese Night Live. So all get yourselves a nice bottle of wine and some cheese and crackers. Next Friday, next eight Friday. p.m. Yep, eight o'clock, and. Um, We'll all have a good time. Yep. So I hope you've had a good week and um, we shall catch you next week. Yes, thank you very much for watching. Take See care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.